Here we go, worst lawnmower in the world. Number two. This is one of the other ones we dug out. Let's see if we can get this one going. See you in a minute. Right, well, as you can see, it is a hater. It's in appalling condition. It's got a hole in the side there, as you can probably see. Coming around here, the engine's in a right old state, as you can see, and look, the actual paint's lifted off completely. Coming around the other side, uh, pretty much the same. Again, it's been in the bushes for literally years and years. I don't really know if this one turns over, I'm not too sure. Right, the blade does turn, so there's a possibility that's just because it hasn't got the brake cable on it. So before we do get it going, I'll obviously have to source one of those. But uh, yeah, the blade does move anyway. So I suppose the first thing to do is to light the other one, get the top cover off, get the uh, carb off. You never know, it may kick back and start up. I wouldn't have thought so, but you never know. And uh, yeah, so let's start stripping it down. Right, a little bit of a closer look at it now, as you can see, it's really crudded up in there. Um, that's moving freely, the uh, recoil thing, although we will lubricate that. But we will have to clean all this out, just as the other uh, lawnmower I did, the first one we, we actually stripped down. So let me just spin it around now, we'll get the carb off and then uh, we'll take it from there. Right, okay, just about to take this off, and I have noticed that there's no springs on these car on this carburetor at all, so um, I will have to source another couple of springs. I'm just going to unhook it from the governor arm, and as you can see, there's our carb off. That's going to be refurbished, but um, as I say, I'm going to need to get some springs. While I'm here, I will just give this a blow down with the airline, and again, one of the typical things that you could probably find with these lawnmowers. It is covered in oil on the air filter side. So before I actually got hold of this lawnmower, it wouldn't have been running correctly at all, as you see, because it's probably been tipped up the wrong way or it's been overfilled with oil. If I just take the dipstick out, we can check that. Right, and I can see there that the oil is at the correct level. It's not too dirty, actually. It's a little bit black, but um, sometimes you get these, they've been right filled up to there or even higher. And that causes oil to be pushed through the oil breather tube, which then comes into the carburetor via this tube here, and into there, and then goes into there. And that's when you get a lot of smoke on the engine. So that does happen sometimes. Probably not in this case. This is indicating to me that it may have been tipped up the wrong way. So let's get the airline out now and give all this a blow down. <laughs> Okay, that's all I think I need to strip off on this one now. Um, I'm happy with the oil inside. I'm going to leave the oil. I'm just going to lubricate that there. I may give this a bit of a clean down with some cleaning solution. So the deck is going to stay as it is. I'm happy there's nothing uh, restricting the blade underneath. So we move that to one side and we'll now strip down this car. I'll give it a little bit of a clean out first of all. And we'll change the gasket and diaphragm. The push button primer bulb seems to be working okay but um, I'm going to empty it out as well so that's what I'm going to do now. So time to give this a little bit of a clean, all I've got here is some white spirit, Not, don't need too much of it, safety glasses, don't want to get spillage everywhere and I'm just going to take off this rubber cap and also the old gasket that's on there, in fact there's two on there, someone's put two on there. I'm just going to give this a little bit of agitation just to loosen up all the old sticky 
gunk that's stuck on there and all the uh, old dirt. Because when I take this apart, I don't want to be letting out all this stuff go inside the carb. So just give me a second just to do this. Don't take long. If you've got a compressor, you'll find it so much easier to blast all the gear off of it with that. So that's all I'm going to do now. Got a mixture of water in there, an old stout fuel, it really does stink, but as you can see there, it's brought the fuel tank and the carb up, lovely and clean again, and it is now a serviceable item. So we're gonna take the carb off now by undoing these five Phillips screws around the outside, and that will reveal our diaphragm and gasket, which we're gonna change, but we'll also give it a clean out with a carb cleaner and all that, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, okay then, off with the carb. And straight away I can see water in the actual, let me show you. So just removing the top of the carb now, I can see that the diaphragm on the bottom there doesn't actually look too bad, although we will change it anyway. But can you see in one of the chambers here, look, there, that's actually water. So this would never have run, it's full up with water, and it's just something else we've got to blow out as well, look. That's water coming out of there, look. And when these are left outside, this is one of the main problems you get because the water, as you probably know, gets in through these holes here. And as you can see, this is the breathing holes. It's a bit of a bad design, really. And also, a lot of people, they take these off and they replace them with a normal screw tap cap off of a normal bottle. And what that does, that seals the cap up. And when the lawnmower is running, it's trying to suck petrol out of the tank. Normally, if you suck petrol out of the tank, you need air going in. And that's one of the problems. When they put a normal cap on, there's no air going in, and the mower can just have fuel starvation, and that can be another symptom, all because they've put the wrong cap on. These are a bad design, but they are necessary. So I'm just going to give this a good blowout and clean out now, put a new carbon diaphragm on there. We'll give this a clean with uh, by taking off the gasket and diaphragm there. There's the diaphragm. And underneath the diaphragm, you've got to be careful. There's a little spring under there. And uh, as I say, this is normally one of the parts that fail. So let me give this a good clean up. You haven't really got to see that. I'm just going to squirt it with the air hose and some carb cleaner. And then we'll put it all back together. Right, okay, giving the tank a good blow out. Now I use carb cleaner, just carb spray like that, in conjunction with an airline to blow them out. And as you can probably see there, this little chamber there, which was full of crap, is now totally cleaned out. And I don't know whether you can see inside the carb there, you probably can't, I'm not too sure. But that is actually spotless now. There's no real rust, there's no rust at all in that actually, so uh, I'm quite pleased with that. And all we're going to do now is to install our new carbon diaphragm. And these aren't genuine ones, these are pattern ones, they're a lot cheaper. I've, I've only had problems with some of these pattern ones, but um, all in all they're pretty much okay. But if in doubt, get the genuine ones if it's for your own lawnmower. This is only a little project, so... Uh, I'm happy with that. So all I'm going to do here now is going to put the diaphragm on first on top of the tank. And just lay it in place. And the gasket again goes on top. Like that. And don't worry about if these don't line up while you're moving it about because when you drop this on, these screws, as I said before, have got like little leading edges on them and they will find the hole, providing you don't tighten one down and then leave the rest. So again, the little springs back on there. We've cleaned the filter out now. This has had a very good clean now. And as you can see, it looks like a new part. Let's just drop this back in now. Now again, I'm looking down the top here. I'm just getting everything pretty much lined up and I'll just drop the screws in. I won't screw them down and they find their own way in. I like to do diagonals. No pressure on any of the screws at the moment. Just drop them in the holes. And then once they're all located, have just a final little wiggle, just make sure everything's located. You'll soon see if the gasket isn't on properly, but uh, in our case, everything's fine. I'm just gonna take these down now in a diagonal order. I'm not really like, putting them down tightly. Just gently first of all, before we uh, go for the final tie up. 
Right, so there we go, that's the carb refurbished. Now, as you know, we've got the springs missing on here, but lucky enough, underneath here, I've got an old lawnmower engine, and I've just seen there's a couple of springs on there, so I'm gonna nick them, and we'll get this carb back on. So let me go and do that. Right, this first one goes onto this little lug here. There we go, that's there. Then it hooks onto our governor arm, which basically goes through there like that. It's the easiest way to do it. And our second spring, there should be a bar coming up here. And then this should hook onto there, but obviously the bar's missing. So I'm just going to have to improvise for the moment and just probably stick it over there for the moment. And then on the back of the carb, make sure that that little white ceiling ring's there and also the O-ring inside, that sits over that tube. Your carb just hooks on there like that. And then just locates in there like that and then the screws can come back on. And what you should see is the... Um, spring should be nice and loose but as i say there's a problem with this one at the moment because uh some sort of uh, adjustment there but i may have to take this spring off for the moment and hopefully we can still get it running so that's in fact what i'm going to do i'll leave that one off and hopefully we'll be able to use it with just that one so i'm just going to fix this back on now and uh put the cover back on and change the spark plug we'll take the spark plug out and have a look at that and I might have to put an hand, a handle on so that we can take that brake off and then we'll try and start it. So I'm just gonna put this back together now and I'll see you in a minute. Okay then, so we've got the air filter back on. Now, someone did leave a comment on the last video that I shouldn't have put a new plug in it, I should have tried it as it was. Well, in this case, I'm gonna do that then. I'm gonna leave the old plug in, but I will take it out just to have a look at it because if it's totally knackered, then obviously, if it's oiled up or whatever, then I'm gonna have to do something about it. So let's just try and undo this. Oh, blink, you know, that was tight. Let's have a look, see what condition it's in. And if it's okay, I'll just clean it a little bit. Yeah, the gap looks pretty much okay in there. It's a little bit black, but um, what's the matter? What'd you do there? Huh. A little bit black there, but all I will do is just get a bit of sandpaper and just clean the connection up on the end, but I will reuse this. There we go. So just give that little end a little bit of a clean up. Some of you are really hard to please, you know that. The end result is, is that we're going to refurbish these anyway, so I will be putting a new plug in eventually, because I'm going to get all these back to A1 condition, hopefully, after I've got all these going. That really is corroded in there. I'll just put a round file in there and just give it a few turns with that. That should get us back to some fresh metal. <laughs> right, okay, I'm happy with that. So let's put that plug back in as it is. I'll just clean the end up on it. And what I've had to do, because the switch at the back needs to be activated by the handle. I've actually found an old handle wheel of a bigger hater uh, lawnmower that I've got. I'm hoping it's gonna do the job. It seems to be in the right, it's, it's not a full size one by the looks of it, but it's got the brake cable on it, which is basically all that I'm after. There is some other drive cables on it, but I'll just quickly whack this on there and hopefully this will do the job. So. I'm just going to connect this up, put the cover on, and we should be ready to go. We'll get some fuel in it. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, let's get a little drop of fuel in it. As I say, we don't know whether or not it's gonna start. It's what it's all about. Been outside for about five years and we dug it out of the bushes in my last video. Right, 
Right, okay. That should be enough in there. Do you want to put a lid on that? Again, the handle's not on properly. pull them other leads out of the way as you can see it's not the right handle for this but uh, we know the switch operates let's just give it a few primes right petrol's going up yeah. as you can see it's not the uh, the highest handle in the world so let's pull it out there like that and here we go oh. <laughs> running over a little bit slow that's because I only had one of the governor springs on it but we've got it running again this isn't the right handle for it we just needed that to uh, connect the cable up so that it could get the brake working again so that is our worst lawnmower number two we've got going that was the one dug out of the bushes if you haven't seen the video number one do check it out it's got hashtag law, worst lawnmower in the world and uh, we've got another two to go we've got another hater and we've also got a flymo two-stroke mower which is still sitting in the bushes and you'll see that in a later episode where we're digging that one out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, get involved with us. And if you've got a bad lawnmower, just put in your title, hashtag worst lawnmower in the world. And let's see what you can do with your old lawnmowers that have been left outside for years and years, just like this one. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.